All right guys, it's your boy Roots from Team Relinquish and we got current YCS Atlanta champion Jeremy Mitchell. Again, that just went X1 of the Kissimmee Regional uh, playing Pen Magician once again. Um, uh, we're running up this round nine, but we know he, he's make top eight. We'll put the description, the link below. But uh, Jeremy, well, go ahead, talk about the deck and your experience for today. Oh, well, you know, it was a great experience. Um, you know, I very glad I was able to come out here with the people from Jacksonville, the people I rode with, uh, you know, Joseph Stasky, uh, Cliff, uh, and who else? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of people. Um, Penderis and um, Charlie, so uh, thank you for bringing me here. Um, and um, yeah, I'll tell you about the other deck. So, so pretty standard. Um, you're probably not going to see nothing different. I, I shouldn't even explain this anymore. It's, you know, got to play it. Um, three harmonizing, standard. I mean, probably the best card in the deck. Second best card to me is Purple Poison. I bumped it back to three. Like I said in the, deck, the last deck profile, I was going to bump. Because <laughs> I don't want people, you know, I did bump these back to three. Um, you know, and I, and I was really happy I did because it really helped out. Um, you know, this is really good against Sue Draco. And that helped me out a lot in our two Draco matchup. Uh, Black Fang is just broke. I, don't, I, I try to exceed as much as possible with his deck. So, that, so I'll go into like Nightmare and stuff. So I can always bring back um, uh, any of my dark spellcasters. So, I mean, I love this. I love this ratio. I, I should have, I, like I said, I should have played both of them at three at YCS. But, you know, it is what it is now. Nah. Uh, one oath. Um, I don't play Desires. So, I don't play Desires. So, there's no reason for me to play more. I never needed another one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, Old Track is really good, but since I don't play Desires, I don't, I didn't really feel like I needed it. Uh, Dark Form Engine, same. Um, uh, well, this card still gets on my nerves because I really don't want to open it. I draw it every time. You know, the only, the only match I lost was, to, um, I guess, to the guy that went undefeated, uh, the Mech Knight guy. Um, and I kept opening up, but I'm still salty. But I mean, nah, it was a, it was a really good game. I mean, he did rip Regeki every game, but uh, you know, it was really cool. Um, but yeah, this was really good. All right, so yes, I tried out the Mythical Beasts package. Um, it was really good. I mean, I guess the Mech Knight guy he asked, and that kind of sucked. That made me question my life. But other than that. Um, yeah, this was really good. Just one card just outs a lot of. Just one card just out, puts pressure on my opponent if I'm going second because they have to out it because I put two scales up and that's four counters like a banish a monster. So it just it was really good. Jackal was amazing. Uh, <laughs> the monster effect pretty much. He was he was awesome. Sometimes I would I would put him in the extra deck with with um with electrons effect just so I could get him on board with like a vortex or whatever. So um, yeah, I really like this. Uh, <laughs> the, the only hand chops I played was three ash. Um, hate ash. A lot, you know, it wasn't it wasn't that great because I played a lot of mirrors. I mean, a lot, <laughs> but it was okay. I mean, it helped me out my last match because the guy was maining wavering eyes, and he and I made a board. And he was literally breaking it piece by piece. And the last card he had was wavering. I had to ash. And it saved my butt. I ain't gonna lie, cause he know what he knows if he sees this. But um, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> um, the spells, dark worm, um, engine extenders, up, I guess. Uh, Foolish burial, double dragon shrine. Um, I usually side one out. I'm glad I bumped this up to two though. It was really good. I saw it a lot, and I really, really want to see this in your opening hand. So, um, I played three pin call. Um, as you probably know by now, I don't play Wisdom Eye anymore. I was just, you know, just trying to test. You know, I, I still love Wisdom Eye. I don't want to hear people complaining. I still love Wisdom Eye, um, but I just want to try something different. Like I've already proven that you don't, you don't, you can still play Wisdom Eye and win. But I just wanted to try something different. I wasn't really expecting to do that great. But um, you know, so I said, you know, everybody saying my boy Ezekiel. He said, uh, you know, just try, just try without Wisdom Eye and see how you like it. I really did like it. I didn't find myself needing Wisdom Eye really ever. Pin call just helps you out so well, gets unendings and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I really like you got masterpiece, got to worry about. So, pin of call, I, really, I was hoping to draw this every time. I never drew the dark worm play, which just sucked. I don't know how. I really don't know how that had never happened, but you know, I love pin call. I'm glad I put it at three. 
Um, so other people, so people won't say I was I'm crazy anymore because apparently at YCS I was crazy for just playing this and not any searches. So you know, I said, all right, let me put this alliance in, and this really helped. I ain't gonna lie. Um, since I played three pin call now, I was able to get to it, um, get to that, and get to the trap quicker. Um, I usually this is always a last resort. So if I open up like, even if I open up this in Dark Worm. If I have another way, if I have a way to get scales and stuff, this is always the last resort to get to this. I never try to go in, I never try to search pen call because this this puts a lot more pressure on my opponent because they don't expect it. I do like main phase two or whatever. Um, or like the last thing that I do is always search this. So I love doing that and um, yeah, this was pretty cool today. So I uh, guess we'll go to the side. Um, I played two cherries. Uh, I saw this a lot. Uh, my friend Joseph, he knows. Uh, <laughs> Um, I did see this a lot. I kind of wish I played three like I did the YCS, but you know, with that Metaphos deck, I didn't want to play three because every time I sided in against them, like they just make that fire link, so it really wasn't that great. And I was expecting, I was expecting like Metaphos to be, uh, you know, a big thing. But you no, know, I kind of wish I played three, but two was great because I saw it a lot. The card I just can never seem to draw. I just cannot seem to draw this card. I really wish I did all the times, but I never did. Um, it's Ross Spearmo. It's really good. I think you should. I think you should be playing this card, especially with all the boards. I'm seeing people make even like metaphors don't end with like Alkahist and uh, Masterpiece and like maybe a Vortex. So you know, this was really this was really good if I actually saw it. But I'm still gonna keep playing it because I do I do like the potential. Uh, two Kaiju's, uh, pretty much for inspe inspect the border or or like like a random Beatrice. Or anything like that, uh, just some, just to get over. Um, I, I don't think it came up that much, but I think it did help me on my uh, my first match was was Draco, but uh, yeah, it was okay. Uh, three dimensional barrier, standard. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't think I don't think I won a game off of this today though, because I don't think I drew it, which is weird. But you know, but yeah, you can still play it good for the mirror. So. Um, my little tech was two typhoons. Um, on the way here, I was kind of, I was debating it with my friends uh, in the cars about, you know, you know, typhoon. It was either this or twin twister. And in my head, in my, the way I play the deck, I'm not afraid of no trap except anti spell and unending. Like you can strike me. I, I play around strike so well. So I said, well, dang, typhoon's good against the mirror. It's good against two Draco, you know. And so I just said, you know, why not? I never drew the card, which sucks. But I'm gonna keep playing until like I, you know, until I'm think differently. But um, it don't suck. It don't suck. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna keep playing it. But um, yeah. Uh, three Emily match. Uh, kind of one of my MVPs against one match. I'm not gonna say because he know. But uh, this was pretty good. It was pretty much for uh, two Draco. Uh, I think he still got to play Emily match. A lot of people are gonna get. I saw. I think he still got to play it. So extra deck, two Electrum, standard. Some people Everyone play three. Table 11, uh, please take a step backwards. Thank you so much. I, I just like two. I don't like to do all the crazy stuff. I still don't like to do all that. If you saw my boards, like it's not really that crazy. Like I still don't play like uh, two Supreme King. Um, I still don't play two with this guy. I still play one. A lot of people play two to make all full power. It's strong. Don't get me wrong. It's strong. But that's just not my playing style. I'm just trying to be as simple as possible. Uh, so, uh, Zephra, uh, same as YC, is really good. I was debating, I was playing Deco Talker again uh, with this card because there's sometimes you need Deco Talker, but I just took a chance. And it didn't, I didn't, Deco Talker didn't come up that often. So, uh, I'm glad I didn't play it, but you know, maybe I'll put it back in. Who knows? For a little dragon. Um, yeah, like I was playing Saruja. This card was a lot better than Saruja, uh, at least to me. I don't like getting my opponent in another zone. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, Borlo Dragon was pretty cool today. Uh, the Synchros, just two Synchros, uh, Omega and Agnister. I, I made these a lot, actually. Um, I don't play the Clear Wing guy. I, I, really, I love that card, believe me, I love it. But um, I just needed more space, and I don't really, you don't really, without, without like, um, Star Pillum Graph, getting the harmonizing, I don't really see harmonizing that much. So I just said, well, let me just cut it and put more other stuff in. So I didn't, I didn't miss it because I think you can, you can break through boards without that card. Um, it's just a red gecky. It's good, but I didn't feel like I needed it. Um, the MVP <laughs> was Evil Storm Nightmare. Um, 
I really hope my friends at local start playing this in their magician decks. Uh, Cause yeah, you better. Cause this this card is amazing, especially against the mirror. Like even I, they they made this against me. I hope every time I play a mirror, just don't make this card because it really like slows me the heck down. Um, I really love this card. I'm glad I put it in. It really helped me out a lot. Um, absolute for vortex, vortex. Dorito. Kind of wish I cut this card. Um, I was debating about it, but I was like, you know what? Let me just keep it in. Uh, it, like now people get out there really good players can out this like really well so it's not really that great um, so I may cut it I may not I don't know yet but I wouldn't it's not that great as it used to be uh, a really great card I still play uh, I think I got games off of people with this card like three in three matches uh, a lot of people don't see it coming it's just you know, just trying to OTK as quick as possible. That's pretty much how I play. I'm an aggressive player, so I love this card. Uh, Tornado Dragon. Um, it was okay. It's Tornado Dragon. I still play it because I, I I like to send my stuff to the grave for Black Fang. And, like, you know, I like sending my Dark Worm back to grave. So I make Tornado. I, like, I make a lot of seeds. So, um, yeah. Abyss Dweller. Never made it. I didn't play any uh, Dinos or anything. I would have played I would have played against Trujeco, but I think I'm going to play, like, two. And uh, most of the time, I let Trujeco go first. So... Um, yeah, it was, okay. it, was, it was okay. Time Star, I don't think I made it today, but I, I still love the combos with this card, so I'm still gonna play it. So. All right, uh, any shout outs? Oh gosh, uh, okay, everybody in Jacksonville, everybody in Jacksonville, people that came, Eden, uh, Gabe, Sherrod, um, you know, my boy Quinn, I shouted you out, Zachary. Uh, Raymond, I wish he was here. I don't know why I just said that, but I do. Cause I need to ask him something. Um, but yeah, man, everybody in Jacksonville, to, you know, uh, my sponsor, you know, uh, Elmo and uh, Viet, uh, Tino, who came here. I don't know where he at. Um, and uh, Jake, I hope you're watching. Uh, you know, Jake goes in. Really glad you came, man. Really glad you came. Um, uh, but yeah, man, everybody in Jacksonville. Again, I probably didn't get all your names, but um, just really glad I can keep on going with this and uh, keep bringing it on. All right, then. This is your boy, Rich from Tyrone Liquid, signing off.